Hello friends, today I have a new series and in this one I would like us to look at customizing uh, doc types that have been built by ERP Next. Now, customizing or creating your own doc types is not difficult now to do, hopefully, if you have been following my YouTube channel, but there is one thing that I have not covered yet and this one is still becoming a problem to most of the uh, people that follow me on my channel online. So I want to uh, go ahead and dig into this today. I want to explain to you how you can create a custom field on a doc type that may be like customer, you're going to be working with customer doc type that has been done by ERP Next and or Frappe Framework and then we are going to be also exploring how we can manage the code that we have written or the field that we have created using our custom application. Uh, so I am going to be showing you how that code is going to be accessible or available to your custom application that you can then push into GitHub and you can install into your application just in the event that you wanted to uh, install it in another application or just for the sake of safety when you need to upgrade the version of your ERP Next from uh, one version, let's say for instance 13 to 14 when it is officially released. So uh, let's dive in and get started. Now my video may disappear here because I want us to have enough room to do this. So let's open uh, the uh, doc type here and this is the customer doc type. This, this doc type is created by uh, uh, ERP Next. Now, Let's say for instance, we needed to add a field anywhere here. Now what we do, there is another field. I want just to open a new tab here so that we don't lose the customer form. And here you can look for something like a custom field. You can see here we have custom field list and you can add your own custom field. Now the first thing that we need to do here is to select the document where we want to add our custom field. Now our document here is going to be customer. Now note that if you needed to add your custom field in maybe let's say sales invoice, you just type here sales invoice and you select it. If it was student, you of course have not installed a student module so that, 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 that uh, that's how you do this. So we need customer in our case. So I select customer. The label, this is the label that you want to see on your field. For instance, the label of this first field here is full name. The label of the company here is type. Here we have PEN and this. These are what are called labels. Let's say for instance, I want to call this something like, um, what do we call this? Something like, uh, let me see what we can add into our customer here. We can add something like, um, let's just call it any name. So let me just say uh, test field. This is just for the purpose of, the t uh, of testing. And then the next thing here is very, very important is where you need it to be added. Now you need to select this. If you do not select anything here, your field is going to be added to the top of the document here. That is not how you want it. You want uh, uh, your form uh, to be organized in a way that you have control over. So we want our form to come just after full name. So we can just come here and say insert after and select full name here. If you wanted it to be after any other field here, we can just go ahead and select that field in uh, from here. So that is full name. And then here, of course, is the other uh, form or input of custom field uh, uh, details here that we need to select, like the data type, uh, the field type, data or whatever you want to uh, insert here. When we select options, uh, fetch from, and all these others, I know you are familiar with them. Thank you, up to there. So we can go ahead and save this. So when we save, just after saving here, this field is now available in our customer doc type here. So if we go ahead and reload, we expect that here we are going to see our, cast, our test field. And yes, you can see here we have a test field and this is what we created. Now, that's not enough, it is here. But then, how about when we need to export this field and actually put it on something like GitHub and then we can manage that code when we need to install our custom application 
into another instance of our server. Let's say for instance, we have production and development or we have multiple servers for some reason, or maybe uh, our system uh, has, let's say for instance, your system has a challenge and it crashed and you needed to install this, you want your custom fields to be managed in such a way that by installing your custom app, it will come with all these fields that you have created. Now remember, the fields that are here may be in the tens, in hundreds, or even in thousands if you have a big application. So you, don't, you do not want to go and start recreating them again just in the event of uh, something happening to your instance. So how do we do that? For that, I'm going to show you my uh, terminal. So here's my terminal. Let me just go ahead and clear this. This is the, uh, the instance that we are running on. I can get out of that. And the thing I want to show you is here, when I do bench version, let me just make this a little bit bigger for the sake of your eyes. You can see that here we have uh, up, uh, an app called Opelsoft and uh, in version 0.0.1. Now, this is the app that we want to manage our application. Now, note that we have already created a custom field here. So we are expecting that when we do a git version, uh, not git version, but git status here, if, uh, by the way, you don't know what is this, I showed you how to, uh, to manage the custom code with GitHub. And I think, yes, here is the, uh, here is the, uh, the code. You can go ahead and check this if you want to learn more about how to manage custom code uh, in GitHub, in ERP next to Frappe. So if I check git status here, notice that, all right, we need to be in the, so uh, let me go to apps and then I go to Opelsoft. Remember that is where we want to check. And then git status is telling us that there is nothing to commit here. Now note, it is telling us there's nothing to commit and we have already created a test field. That means our test field is not being tracked by our application. So how do we help our application to know that we want to track this? Now there is one more thing that you need to do. And that thing is, if you open your apps, let me also make this bigger for the sake of your eyes also. If you enlarge up apps and then you go to Opelsoft and Opelsoft again, there is going to be a hooks file here. Now, this file is very, very important. I uh, once uh, in my tutorials went through this. If you have any questions, please drop them in the uh, uh, chat section and I'm going to address them one by one. Or maybe other members in the community are going to assist you. But if you have anything, just drop it in the chat section. Now, here, we need to tell our application that we want to track our, uh, our custom fields and how that we had another attribute here that we are going to call fixtures. Fixtures, and this fixtures is, is going to be an, a, 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 a list, and this list, sorry, this list is going to contain a number of things, but in this case, this first case, the only thing we need to add here is the name custom field. And this custom field is what is going to tell our application that we want to start managing our application like this now even before we save this uh, uh this hooks.py file there's one more thing i want to show you how you tell it uh that i want to get the custom fields is just by doing bench bench and then export export fixtures now note bench export fixtures now note i have run this bench export fixtures before we saved our hooks file. You can see I've not uh, saved our hooks file. This is the change I have made. It is not saved yet. And I have already ran bench export fixtures. Now, how about when we check this status now? This still tells us that there is nothing here. So how do we get it to work? Just save this now like that. Let me just allow it to save. And now this thing is saved. Now let's go back here and again run bench export fixtures. When I do that, you can see here the, it's, it's telling us that the custom field, uh, Opelsoft and filters is none. And now when we go ahead and look uh, do bench status, we can see here that there are two things that have been done here, or two files that have been affected. The first one is the hooks file, of course, because we have added some code 
which is this code here. Of course, that is true. And the second one is a directory. And this directory is in OpenSoft and fixtures. Let's go there and see what has happened there. So if you come here, OpenSoft, this directory has been created. So in anything, anything that you're going to be adding now as a custom field is going to be added here. So you can see there's a file here called customField.json. If you check it closely, you can see here it's telling uh, the, the doc type uh, telling us that the doc type is custom field and when you scroll down just a little bit there are so many things here and i want to show you where our field is just come down come down come down and you're going to find it somewhere here note that all these things have been added from the custom fields that are in that form so let's check our custom field and see where it is uh, we can search it the custom field was called test and you can see here our test field uh, is telling us that it's a custom field doc type is customer and uh, the field name is test field and it's a data type and all this so label is test field this is what we added and insert uh, insert after customer name so our code is now being tracked so any other custom field that you're going to add is going to be added this uh, object is going to be added into this uh, file here and now when this one is on github of course you can go ahead now and add it to your repository and commit it and now you can start managing it like that once this is done now it has be, it is being tracked by your custom app and now you can go ahead and install it anywhere you want to install it so that is what i wanted us to look at today and I am hopeful that that has been uh, very helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you do not miss the next video that I'm going to be building. That video, by the way, is going to be on print format. I will be teaching you how you can fetch data from any doc type to your print format into another doc type. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in that video.